Hello everybody, I am Kaiju Cooper and today we are look taking a look at Supercharged Godzilla. Uh, this is basically the newest figure out of the uh, Godzilla vs. Kong action figure line. And it has most of the collectibles on the back besides Heat Ray Godzilla. But yeah, uh, this is not a... Um, remold of Battle Roar Godzilla, as there actually are a few differences. But I don't have a Battle Roar Godzilla to compare him to, so sorry about that. I do have Battle Roar Kong though. So today we are simply just going to be opening this up and taking a look at it. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. And here is Supercharged Godzilla. Uh, he comes with this little fighter jet, and I can't compare it with Kong's fighter jet because I don't have that figure either. If we take a close look at it, you can see it's very mangled and scarred. Tip is broken off, and the underside just looks completely trashed. Now, he's supposed to be able to hold this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just like that. And, uh, yeah, right off the box, uh, I mean, right out of the box, I have one complaint. His legs are also pre-posed, but one of them's in a sort of leaning position, so uh, he has to lean forward a little bit to even properly stand. But, uh, yeah. Uh, supercharged Godzilla, uh, he looks pretty good. He is basically the body of, well, to be honest, he pretty much is a brand new sculpt. Ooh, his fighter jet fell out. Uh, just using the Heat Ray Godzilla color scheme. And it is not the exact same as Battle Roar Godzilla, as there's a hinge at the jaw, it's not spring-loaded. Inside of the mouth, it, like, just the head itself looks a lot different. See, he's looking to the side a little more, and if you look at look at his neck, it's it's a little broken, but uh, yeah. There's a bit of a, a differentiation between this little piece and the rest of his body. It's not as glossy, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. He has a pretty uh, curly tail. It looks better than the uh, oh voice crack. Sorry. It actually looks better than Battle Roar Godzilla's, which has a lot more blue on it. It looks kind of yucky. Uh, now, if you tip him over, he does look like he's swimming through some water. So, jeez, oh, I'm just full of voice cracks today, huh? So, you can have him swimming. Pretty cool, I guess. And there are translucent spines, so that looks pretty good. So, if I can actually get him to hold his fighter jet, there we go. Uh, in terms of detailing, it's Playmates detailing, and the eyes and teeth are, well, they're painted, that's for sure. Look at him from the front, he's a bit of, hmm, jeez. He's staring into two different corners of the universe with those eyes. And yeah, that is pretty much it for Godzilla here. Now, on to the size comparisons. Here he is next to the Godzilla Classics line by Playmates. Also, along with some Godzilla vs. Kong figures by Playmates. And some Bandai Creations figures. Thank you all for watching this review, and I'll see you in the next video.